Think that way, YouTube fam. If you guys already seen my nostalgic Akuma review, y'all already know what y'all getting into with Shin Akuma here. Um, it is a really dope rendition to the uh, classic Shin Akuma. There's some differences from this version to the regular Akuma that I just reviewed, so stay tuned to find out. Outside of the obvious hair difference and skin color, there's one or two differences, but very minor though. But here, first, we're gonna focus on the face before we get into all of that. Pretty much the same scope. You can see the the muscles around the mouth what the heck is that it might be doo -doo. he has a nice looking sculpted button and the hair scope texture same thing just white so here's where you see one of the difference outside of the skin color you can see there's like little vein all throughout the whole body Taking a look at the arm, you can see the sculpted work of the veins here and on the forearm. The bees are actually a little bit darker than the original. As here, you can see more of the veins all throughout his back. Here, you can see his rock solid abs and muscle structure. His gay pants are the same, just uh, like a darker purple, blackish color. You can see the weathering in the bottom right here and you can see the same uh, sculpted line on the side here at his feet you can see his toes and you can see the vein work pretty nicely done taking a look at the chancletas here you can see the sculpted work all throughout it's looking nice it is flexible so it won't break whenever he's hitting somebody with it Articulation has been our moves are her. Arriba, abajo. Esta vaina da la vuelta. Esto hace fui fui. Does the hokey pokey and he twists all around. Go side to side. Forward. Backwards. Please. Does that TikTok move? Uh, this is where it bothers me. His ankle, he could stand good and all, but he just doesn't doesn't articulate properly. Same thing with the nostalgic version of of Akuma. For his grinning portrait, we can see same muscle structure. Chin isn't dirty this time. His hair is white. This part does articulate on all of his heads. This is his yelling face. You can see the details in the mouth area here. You have the muscles, the chin, teeth looking nice and wide and clean. Eyebrows sculpted there. Some creases, wrinkled noses here. Eyeballs look nice. This one has like a, some silver lining on it. For his effects, we have his flames that you attach to his wrist. And when this is for when he throws his adukin, as I stated on the other video, the transition here, I don't really like it. Now, the way that they painted the fireball, I do like it way better than they did the flaming effects on the wrist or the arms. Um, this is where you put the stand at. And this does remove. And this is where you put the stand at. You can see it better now. This is, I don't know why you need to remove this, but it is there just to let you guys know. And for his gi, this is the one that has the symbol in the back. I don't really like the way that they painted it. I think they could have done better. And you can see the stitching there. That's pretty much it. So that's a wrap up guys. I try to do it quick and short, straight to the point. There's still one more version of him, so stay tuned for that. And this is what he looks like with his gi. I just wanted to do this video a little different since the nostalgic one had his gi on. Hopefully this video does help you guys decide if you guys want a Shinokuma or not. And for those wondering, this is what it looks like compared to the old nostalgic version. Essentially it's the same figure, it's just a little minor difference. The hair, the skin, the pants, chancleta colors are different. This prayer bees, this is a darker shade on the Shinokuma. Little minor things. However, is it enough for you to have two versions in your collection? I don't know, you tell me in the comment section. He is a different version. 
essentially because the Shin Akuma is faster and stronger than the regular Akuma. Also, the box art is different. It shows Shin Akuma, not the regular one. Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for taking the time out. Spend with me and go over this figure. I really appreciate you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for the next episode. Remember, if you guys want to support, please subscribe, like, and comment. Talk to me. Let me know what's up. Remember to also follow me on social media. I have everything in the description below. In the meantime, enjoy these pictures. Y'all stay blessed. Thank you. Thank you very much.